Hi, today I'm going to show you how to add a new project and build your first schedule within Outbuild. From your project's dashboard, you'll see the Add Project button here in the top left corner. If you do not see that button, that simply means your account doesn't have permissions to create new, new projects. Simply reach out to your account executive or your success manager and we'll be happy to help you with that. If you need to, you can even just use this help chat. It'll go directly to your success manager. I'm going to go ahead and click Add Project. From here, I'm going to name my project and we'll name this Outbuild Studios. We'll assign it a project type, which is commercial, a budget. Let's say this is going to cost us $10 million, 20,000 square feet. And I will name my first schedule. So let's call this contract schedule. I will add that first schedule to my project and I'll even add a picture, make some adjustments, click OK. OK, from here, I can hit the Add Project button. All right. Now I simply go to my project card, open up my project, and then simply select Build from Scratch. From here, the first item it'll ask me to take care of is creating a calendar. I'll go ahead and name this standard five day. I'll mark my working days and then mark my working hours. In most cases, you'll want to set up an eight hour working day. Apply that to all five of your days. Hit continue. I can even add an exception. So let's go ahead and mark Thanksgiving as a non-working day. I'll name that. And now I've created my first calendar and I'm ready to open up my schedule and begin building. At this stage, we'll see three new activities already created for us. And this is where we will go about building the structure of our schedule. So we'll have project one. We're going to start with earthwork. Then we'll move into our foundations. We'll do core and shell. And then to add new activities below this, I simply hit the plus at the top. That's going to add new activities within this group. So from here, I've simply started naming the different categories of work for my schedule. And then to add more activities within each group, I simply hit the plus sign next to them. So I can add three activities there, a few activities here, and simply go about I'll leave it there and we'll start moving into the next step, which is as simple as putting in some durations for each of my activities. Without worrying about my logic or my sequence of activities at this time, go ahead and put 10 there. For footings, we got seven days. We'll do three days for slab on grade and 15 and 10. So now that I've got some activities in here and my durations, now I can start thinking about my sequence of activities. So maybe I've got rough grade, I can go finish to start to fine grade, and I can even start rough grade and trenching at the same time. From there, after my fine grade, we can start worrying about our perimeter wall, we can start our footings at the same time, and then we can do our slab on grade after that. And then from here, I can, after my slab on grade, we can start worrying about our exterior structure and our roof. So now we can see our schedule starting to come together. I can even zoom in a little bit so we can get a better view of it. And now we can start to see our schedule come to life. From here, 
I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. I'll be sure to save a baseline. So this will allow me to track back in time a reference to my original schedule. Go ahead and hit save. And now what's really nice about having this initial schedule, having a saved baseline, as soon as I start saving some time, it's gonna highlight for me how that impacts the rest of my schedule. And as soon as, unfortunately, we hit some rain, slab on grade's gonna hit seven days, it'll also quickly and easily show me where I am falling behind on my schedule. Now, after I fully built my schedule, it can look something like this. I can see my list of activities. I can see each group. I can see if I have connected submittals through Procore. I have my saved baselines. So when items move around, it shows us if we're ahead or behind schedule. And I can simply navigate my tools at the top to hide my baselines, maybe hide my links, not worried about submittals or my number of tasks. So now it's a very simplified view. It's gonna make it very easy to work on this schedule or I can simply turn back on my links or highlight my critical path, which for this project is located on the bottom. That's just a few of the quick and easy ways that you can navigate your schedule and we can learn more in future videos. Thanks.